Hello everyone, good evening. This is a question which came in Indian Economic Services 2022 paper. Let's have a look at the question. Show that TSS, total sum of square, is ESS, explained sum of square, plus RSS, residual sum of square. So what we are going to go ahead and do is we are going to start from the left hand side. We'll try to open up um, our uh, total sum of square. And from there, we will just see if we can derive the right hand side, which is uh, ESS plus RSS. So in order to start this, TSS is what? TSS is the diff squared difference, sum of squared difference between uh, yi and its mean value, right? Actual yi and its mean value. So I've gone ahead and written TSS as summation yi minus y bar whole square. Now what we can go ahead and do is we can try to open this up. So in order to, and we know that for ESS, I need the term yi hat. So if I just go to the diagram once for you guys, you will notice that in the diagram, we are going ahead and we are, um, you know, we are going ahead and we are just trying to show something like this. So let me just take full space here. If you remember the regression equation, the regression line, it represents the conditional mean. So here somewhere, here I have my E of Y given X. This is my conditional mean that I have. And, and here is my actual Y, right? So this is Y I had. And then I have the average value, the mean value of Y. And we know that Y and bar, when I take the mean of Y, it is equivalent to taking the mean of y i hat. We have proved this in our classes also, right? This is a proved concept. So we know that suppose I take y bar here. This is, this is my total sum of square. I want to find the gap between this. And then the gap between y i and y i hat, this is my error term, this part. So let me just mark it with a different color. This is... Uh, Let's mark it with green. This part, this is my error term. Gap between yi and yi hat. And gap between yi and mean, that is my, this is my explained part. How much I can explain. And this is my residual. So we need to prove that TSS is ESS plus RSS. Actually, this yi is, these are at different points. What is static is y bar. Mean remains static. But y i can be here. Y i could have been here. Y i could have been here. Y These are different y i's, right? You're spreading y i's, right? And then you're finding its mean value. This is the unconditional mean of y, in a way. Hekini, this is the conditional mean. Okay. I come back to this now. So what I have gone ahead and done is I have subtracted and added why I had. Now I'm going to go ahead and just club these things together. So this thing is clubbed together as this. And this part, this is minus. This is clubbed together here. Now can I go ahead and use the rule that I am summing up a plus b whole square. So this will be summation a square plus b square plus 2 summation a b. So a plus b whole square can be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab. Is this clear to you? Now just think about this. When I just think about this term, this is yi minus yi hat and I just showed you that yi minus yi hat, this is yi hat, this is nothing but the error term, this is ei. So here I simply get summation ei square. And summation yi hat minus y bar, we have to work something on it, but we will do that. And then again here, summation yi minus yi hat can be written as ei. Just keep the same term everywhere. 
if you're using EI, use EI or use UI hat, but keep it the same. So here also I have got EI, okay? Now we know that the mean of the conditional means is equal to the mean of Y. So, so this is a rule that when you find expectation of conditional mean, Anyways, this is the rule in stats. You get unconditional mean. So when you find expectation of y i hats, these are conditional means, you will get the same mean as the unconditional mean. So the mean of y i hat is equal to the mean of y. That's clear to you? So what we can go ahead and then do in this case is that replace this value that we have, this y bar that we have with y hat bar. This is what we have gone ahead and done here. And then the remaining remains the same, plus two submission ei uh, y i hat minus y bar. Now the moment I make this its mean, then this part, this becomes ess. It becomes explained sum of square. So I started with total sum of square. I started with total sum of square and I've proved that it is residual sum of square plus explained sum of square plus ye wala term extra hai. So what do we, we need to prove? We need to now prove that this additional term is zero. If I am able to prove that this additional term is zero, I am done with the proof. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open this up. So y i hat minus y bar ko open kar lo. You will get submission EI y i hat minus submission EI y bar. Right? Y bar is a constant. Constant can come out of summation. So here this constant can come out of summation and you will be left up with y bar submission EI. And submission EI is zero. Sum of the error term is zero. So if submission EI is zero, this will simply be zero. Ye wala part resolve ho gaya. Now let's talk about this part here. Okay. So when I'm talking about this part, what will I get? I can just, so y i hat is what? y i hat was the equation of the line. It was the, it was the conditional mean. And we know that y i hat can be written as beta naught plus beta one xi. Aise hi to likh sakte hai isko, right? Of course, you can put uh, hats if it is sample. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do then in this case is I'm going to open this up. So this will be submission EI beta naught plus beta one can come out submission EI XI. Beta naught is a constant. It can come out of submission. So it will be beta naught submission EI plus beta one submission EI XI. Again, we know that sum of error term is simply zero. So that also goes. So I will be left up with beta one submission EI xi but this is our clrm assumption that the e's and x's that means the error terms and x's are uncorrelated with each other so therefore we see that this term this is zero so beta one into zero will simply be zero so we have proved that this term that you see right here is zero so therefore you're only left up with TSS is equal to ESS plus RSS. So you can use this proof to show how TSS is equal to RSS. Okay, thank you. We will meet in the next class.